Hi, my name is Joseph. I've uh, worked at TSC for six years. I'm currently the manager for technical services. The best thing about the Diag tool is that really it doesn't really matter what issue the customer has, it's the go-to place to start. You know, it really lets you see everything that's going on with the printer itself. So instead of worrying about what their software might be doing, what their driver might be doing, what even the customer themselves are sometimes just doing, the Diag tool shows us what is actually happening on the printer. So we can pretty quickly diagnose if this is a hardware failure on the printer side, or if this is happening somewhere up, up the track. One of the best things about the Diag tool, it's literally only about one megabyte in size. It's downloadable from our website in about 30 seconds, even with the slowest internet. No login or anything's needed. They can just plop it onto their uh, desktop. And then all you do is double click it and it's gonna open up your window. It doesn't need to install, doesn't need to, ask permissions, it just runs kind of right there on the front. Any printer setting you can think of, a lot of the simple stuff, print speed, darkness, uh, the paper size, you know, length and height, those are probably the four biggest fields that we use because most of the time if it's a print quality issue, it has something to do with print speed or darkness. If it's a printer's erroring out issue, it's usually because the paper size is all funky compared to what they're actually using. It shows us all the settings, so, you know, if, if the ribbon is turned on or off, or if uh, the head is open or something like that, like we can tell from the Diag tool what is going on. If we're having a hard time calibrating the printer, it gives us options for advanced calibration. It gives us what direction setting the printer might be in. It gives us if there's a shift in the printer. So like they tried to shift the text up or down, left or right previously, it'll show us that that's in there. There's also even tabs for if they're printing using like ZPL or DPL or whatnot. And you can go to those tabs and then see what kind of specialty settings they have set there. You can set our printer to, to work like our competitors where you maybe close the lid or whenever you turn it on it's going to do a calibration right away I mean, in some environments that's what they need so it's pretty easy to set just from there most customers once everything's up and running i, I would say they shouldn't have to play with it but the second they have an issue um, and they want to try to figure out what's going on it's the most invaluable thing you have it's a difference between spending 30 minutes trying to figure out what the heck's going on and maybe 30 seconds mm -hmm.